This question, I think, is adorable. Why is the narcissist so mean to me? Because it sounds like what we used to say when we were kids, right? Why are you so mean to me? Why are you being mean to me? But I worded it that way on purpose because the narcissist really is, they really are mean. And they do pick certain people to whom they are the meanest, right? And there are other people that don't believe the person that they're being mean to because they choose to be nice to those people. So it makes it extra frustrating for the person to whom they're being mean because nobody believes you, which that's another video for another time. And I think next video, I think Monday, I'm going to get into that a little bit, how frustrating that can be, the enabling of a narcissist and how frustrating that can be for those of us that are the victims of a narcissist because nobody believes you when they're being mean to you. Why are they so mean? Kind of relates to Wednesday's video about them being so angry, but let me get more specific. If you are the person that the narcissist has zeroed in on, whether it's a romantic partner, family friend, or, or business partner, or coworker, or whatever, they're gonna be extra mean to you, especially if you represent anything on earth that they may want that you have. That you have, right? Just before I started uh, this channel, the year before I started this channel, was COVID. It was 20, spring of 20. And the narcissist stayed here for four months. During the COVID, we were here, quarantined here in this house. During that time, by June of 20, my brother came here and was hanging out for a while while his house was being built. Three bathrooms and a kitchen later, my house was basically remodeled. The narcissist could not handle the success going on up in here with the gorgeousness that my brother was creating and things we were picking out and blah, 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 blah. He was more mean to me that summer than ever because it was driving him insane. This is a grown man older than I was and he didn't even have a house. He doesn't own any place. He's a couch surfer at the age of 63 okay so that's what i mean when I, people sometimes don't know what i mean when i say rent for there's a lot of reasons people rent i'm not saying renting is bad 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 blanketly but when you're a 63 year old man and you're a couch surfer like a frat boy yeah i find that to be kind of a problem yes i do so needless to say he was going to pile on the extra meanness because he couldn't hit and i would hear oh you're spending all kinds of money aren't you Oh, you just, but no, I'm remodeling my kitchen. I've lived here at that point. It's been 18 years I've lived in this house. At that point, it was 15 years. I'm a grown adult in my 50s. I'm remodeling my kitchen. Got angry and mean all summer. I have another narcissist. They're just mean to me all the time. Peripheral in my life. Why? Because I'm happy. Because I'm well-adjusted. I have a good life. And I always say I have a happy, quiet, simple, little, fabulous life. I don't bother anybody. I don't want for more. I don't aspire to have, you know, a lot of people are working hard to get there. Well, that's, that's working hard to get my, I didn't mean to say a song, but they're working hard to get theirs and they always aspire to something else, something else, something else. Well, when a narcissist, peripheral, romantic, or otherwise sees that you are happy within yourself already, and you're at peace with what you do have in your life already, I'm not chasing anything. That's going to bother them, and they're going to be mean to you. Well, what did you do to deserve that? Well, what do you mean? And what do you do? And how do you, and what, how did you afford that? And what did you do? Mean, 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 mean. That relates back to the jealousy. Oh, it definitely relates back to the jealousy. How dare you have an inner sense of peace that they could never attain? How dare you get your kitchen remodeled when they don't have a kitchen? How dare, you know what I mean? They're going to be mean to you, especially, especially remember, if you are the villain to their hero, vic, uh, vic, hero victim, or martyr story, they're going to be extra mean to you. Why? They're trying to bring you down. And they look at the scales of justice and in their minds, remember, they have a disordered mind. We have to keep that in our brain when we're thinking about these people. They have a disordered sense of everything. So when they look at the scales of justice to make you feel bad, 
they have to make to make themselves feel better they have to make you feel bad so how are they going to do that they're going to make they're going to be mean to you if you're someone who people seem to like you're having fun in life you don't seem to really have any problems you seem to have copacetic existence and things are going rosy for you they're going to be mean to you to bring you down they don't want you happy they don't want people liking you they don't want your life easy why is it their business i have no idea i've never gone to anyone for my bills ever ever i've never gone to anyone for my bills so why does it bother them that's 100 percent jealousy and people used to say that to me and i would refute it and be like what do you mean why are they jealous of me what do i have that they don't have da, 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 da. now i realize you know what yes it is just because you have a sense of self it could be that you have a sense of happiness about you it could be that you're a peaceful person they're going to be mean to you to wreck it to wreck your peaceful inner self they're going to be mean to you to wreck your happiness of having your kitchen remodeled. They're gonna be mean to you to wreck the fact that you have friends over who clearly love you and are having fun in your home. They're gonna be mean to you because you've reached a certain accomplishment, checked it off your list and did it and they didn't? Oh, forget it. Oh, forget it. Now they're gonna hate you. You accomplished something that they wish they could. I think I used in the last example, college as an example. Some people finish, some people go, some people don't. Well, if you're someone that's bothered by the fact that you didn't go to college, you will forever hate the people that did. And you will come up with all kinds of reasons, including being mean to those that finished because you didn't go. Why? Who cares? We don't care if you went. You care. Nobody else is judging you that you didn't. Not, that's not for everybody. College isn't for everybody. The greatest man on earth that I or many of us have ever known is my grandfather, my late grandfather. He went to school until the ninth grade. But I can tell you right now, he's sitting at the front of the class in heaven. And he was the best man any of us knew. College doesn't mean anything, but I'm thinking of one person in particular. It bothers this person that they didn't go. Well, you didn't have the chops to go. Don't be mad at me about it. But they're going to be mean to you because you did do it. They're going to be mean to you. And they're going to sell that meanness as everything else you did. Well, you did this. You said that. No, I didn't do anything except right now you're mad because I accomplished something that you didn't. You guys, there are endless reasons. I'm just naming a few. But there are endless reasons they're going to be mean to you. Most of them have to do with jealousy about your life versus theirs. And most of them have to do with the self-hatred they feel deep down inside. And they're swimming in it. Can you imagine living like that? <gasps> Can you imagine? They can't lift you up because in their disordered mind, then that's going to make them feel worse. Rather than just say, that is wonderful of you that you did that. I wish I had the chops. I would have loved to, but you know me, I'm lazy. Like, own it. I love when people own things. Own it. Own it. But don't be mean at me because I might have done something, gotten something, bought something, went somewhere, and you didn't. And you're jealous of yourself, or, uh, of me, or you're feeling bad about yourself because you did. First of all, don't use me as a barometer for your accomplishments. I don't use anybody else as a barometer for mine, and I hope you don't either. I've always had my head down, personal best, and that's it. I'm not competitive, not at all. Not one ounce. People think it's weird. I, not at all. And I don't look at what other people are doing and measure myself against them. Maybe that's why I'm always happy inside. I'm never angry. And if anyone accomplishes anything, I'm so happy for them. That brings me happiness. And that is exuded out from inside that I'm genuinely a happy person. These people look miserable, angry, and mean because they are feeling that way inside. At every turn, every time somebody gets something, has something, does something, achieves something, they're angry and mean to the person that did it to them. You did that to them. Did you? I'm just living my life. I'm not even thinking about you when I'm over here checking off things. Honestly. But they're just going to be mean because they picked you. They zeroed in on you. You didn't do anything except let them in. I let people into my life I should not have. And I have since depleted those people from my life. And now I don't have people in my life that are mean to me. 
And if somebody wanted to come into my life and try to be mean to me, oh my God. If somebody thought about being mean to me like last Tuesday, they're not in. They're not in. I don't have room for it. I'm not into it. I don't deserve it. I'm a good person. I do have self-love and you're not getting in here. You're not being mean to me anymore. And in this new year, I want you to go forward and think about expelling people from your life who are continually mean to you. There's no reason you have to put up with that just because of me. Oh, they're my family. They're my friends. I work with them. They're my boyfriend for years. I'm used to it. You can change anything just like that. Nobody should have to put up with somebody being mean to them for 50 years at all. And I have audience members who are married 30 years, 40 years, 20 years. These are warriors. They put up with things like this. Nobody should have to. Friend, family, business partner, romantic partner. I will not have it. And nobody will ever get away with being mean to me again. They might. The, the ones I can't. If somebody was sitting in front of me and boom, they said something mean, that's fine. But guess what? Okay, let me open this door for you right here because I'm going to walk you out. And that doesn't mean somebody has a bad day. They're angry at life and they're expunging. To you. No, 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 no. That's different. You're here for friends. They're flipping out because they're, you know, expelling something that they got angry about. That's not what we're talking about here. You know exactly what we're talking about. Why is the narcissist always mean to me? It has nothing to do with you is the easiest thing that I could tell you. And it has everything to do with their anger that they carry around inside them. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Here we are embarking on our fourth year of this channel. I thank you so much for all of you that have hit sub and that continue to watch and like and comment and share. That does a lot to boost the channel I'm learning. It's only been three years and I'm learning. So if you know someone going through things and you watch a video and you think it will help them, please share it. I want everyone to know about this so that the narcissists have no more victims. The whole reason I do this channel is to help. That's the entire reason I started and that's the reason I continue to put in the time. Please go ahead and have a, um, a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all Monday.